Hi guys, I'm happy to announce that I have finished the little console table and I'm excited to show it to you. We had uh, some things about it went really easy and some things about it were a little more difficult and complicated. So let's get into the video and I'll show you what I mean. It was pretty easy to sand. The finish came off pretty easily, but as I was sanding, I was having a hard time getting that uh, dark spot, kind of water spot off. So I mixed up some bleach and water and I just brushed it on and left it sit out in the sun for a while. And I feel like that helped kind of remove some of those spots or at least lighten them a little bit. And then I just spent a lot of time with my sander, sanding around the edges and removing all the finish. It, it came off pretty easily, as I said. It, um, this part was not as difficult as I expected it to be. It was a little bit tedious and time consuming getting in all those crevices and small areas, but it was a beautiful day and I didn't mind being outside at all. I removed all the hardware and painted it uh, gold with gold spray paint. And the hardware is where this job got a little tricky because if I had to do it all over again, as I'm taking off every screw and hinge, I would tape it to a piece of cardboard and label it all so that I can put the exact hinge and screw back in the exact same place. Because when I started to put the doors back onto the unit, I had a very difficult time getting everything to uh, fit. It was very difficult to screw the screws in. And if I had the exact same ones, I think it would have made it a little easier. And now it's time to reveal the color that we chose. We went to Lowe's and we looked at swatches and we bought this little $5 sample of paint in this light green color. And when I started painting it on the doors, I really liked the color it was. And I think that it's creamy and it's light. And I think it has everything that appealed to me with the white, except it's just not so stark and it's got a little bit of color in it. It's almost, it almost looks like a gray it's a very muted green color. So I was really happy with it and I think that you're gonna like the way the finished product looks. I chose the same polycrylic that I used on my dining table as a top coat for the wood. I put three coats on the top and sanded in between coats. And then I just put one coat uh, along all the edges and the base. I really liked that raw wood look. And then I painted the sides to match the doors. So let's take one more look at what it looked like before. And here is what it looks like now. 